All right, we're going to finish up here and talk a little bit about trends and issues and some uh, extra material here. The NAR revealed that people that are buying vacation homes are more likely to do an all-cash transaction. So there is some benefit to this because that eliminates one potential hurdle problem that most of us have when dealing with, and I'm going to use finger quotes, mom and pop real estate. There's always financing issues or there's delays in financing or, you know, things of that nature. The NAR states that 53% of all the home sales through the end of April 2021, that's this year, were purchased with all cash. All right. That is up from just under 50%. So there's been an increase in the cash sales. Um, actually, I just read an article the other day about President Biden is going to start looking into all cash sales because they're thinking that that is a way of laundering money. That's a whole separate issue, but you can see that article. Go out and look it up in uh, the news. I'm sure you can find it. Which is contrasted or compared to that only 22% of existing homes for that same time frame were all cash. So, I mean, it's two times the amount of all cash transactions. Like I said, that is beneficial because that eliminates some time in the closing, that eliminates potential hurdles in the closing because there is no more financing issues. Um, oh, I did, uh, looking at the screen, I did put that report on there. Uh, NAR.com or NAR.realtor.newsroom. Yeah, you guys can look at that. Uh, once again, just go to the NAR and type vacation home report and you can get that. So this is a quote from their website. The enduring opportunity for remote work will continue to raise the already high demand for property in these counties, particularly in those counties with reliable broadband internet service. Once again, I told you their outlook on this remote worker or teleworker is still positive and they still think it's going to endure for a couple more years. I think it's probably going to change the face of the way we work entirely permanently. That's going to allow for people to now live in Florida and work in New York. So this increase in second homes or vacation homes is going to do nothing but increase. So let's recap. Investing in a second home is an act of a pure wish fulfillment. They're doing it because they want to. There are plenty of pros and cons that need to be considered when your client is wanting to decide should they or shouldn't they. Typically, this market's driven by two types of people, successful business owners, retirees, and we'll put affluent people in there as well. Um, the second home vacation properties rose by 16% and is still increasing. There are four states that you might want to concentrate on, Florida, Maryland, Massachusetts, and North Carolina. One of the big issues you have to keep in mind is you may have to temper their picture that they've been thinking of to what is reality, all right? Uh, there are some tax issues that they're going to have to deal with. They are not the same tax issues or the same benefits that they would get on a primary residence. When you're thinking about your marketing, your website should be your key tool. 75% of all of your marketing effort, your marketing money, should go into some form of digital marketing to find this group, to uh, market to this group, and to eventually be the uh, expert in, for this group. Uh, over 50% of all the second homes are bought with cash, so there is no financing issues. And while the remote worker is in vogue right now, they say there is no end in sight, and they is probably the NAR, which is relevant to you. But there are a lot of other people that will concur that this remote worker is something that is probably not going to ever go away. All right? I thank you for your time. If you have questions 
and you're here, you can stick around. We can talk about it. If you're at home listening to the recording, feel free to email me at raymond at realuniversity.com. Once again, raymond at realuniversity.com. I thank you for your time today.